Hello, engineers and tinkerers. This is Chris Dash. Welcome back to the Steamworks. We're on the doorstep of the weekend. On the very doorstep of the weekend. I hope that everybody is having a good time wrapping up their week. Um, as for me, I'm going to a bit of an event tonight. So every year, the local community college... Um, near me does an, a fundraiser event and I love to go to this thing and it's like oh no you made an ouch what did you do um but they have this giant like wine and food dinner event called the evening of fine wines oh so good ah uh, you got on tinder ooh how did that go <laughs> <laughs> You you swiping right or you swiping left? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I would just say, I mean, be careful of where you're looking for love. Be careful of where you look for love. And what I would say is if you're going to do an app-based or an online-based dating thing, try to do one that fits into uh, your core beliefs as a person or your core interests as a person rather than just go with the generic ones like eHarmony or whatever. Um, you know, like, for example, if, if you're religious, I know you're not, but I'm saying if you if somebody was religious, um, there's one that's like Catholic Match uh, or whatever. So there are similar dating sites out there. But you'll use it to promote your stream. Yes, yes. Tinder is the ideal place to promote your stream. <laughs> yeah, I um <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> that's not the only thing that's gonna be promoted. You know what else is gonna be promoted? Tampering the the evidence. Yeah. You know. Tampering with that evidence. <laughs> That's a throwback to a few days ago. If you weren't here, go back and watch the video on demand or go to my go to my YouTube. I do have a Twitter, by the way, and I do have a Discord, so if you're if you're not looking at the Twitter or the Discord, just keep in mind that those things do exist. Alright. Let's take a look and see. We've got our Windows 95 computer up and running now. So, there's only one thing you could do once you have Windows 95 up and running. That's run the X-Files. Sudden Warrior. Tampering with the evidence on Tinder. <laughs> All right, so let's load. Okay, before we go traveling. I'm going to look through my notes. I'm going to look through all my notes. And I'm going to email my notes to Skinner. And I'm going to email my notes to Shanks. There we go. I have emailed my notes to all the peoples. You had your arm twisted into making a dating profile, and the quarter you used to decide if you should make one was broken. Ha! <laughs> um, ha! Well, I'll just say, in all, as with all things, if you're doing a dating profile, please be yourself. Don't trump yourself up to be something you're not because the last thing anybody wants to do is to look at a dating profile and find out the person that they're looking at in the dating profile is not really the person that they said they were. 
be honest, be upfront, be kind, be generous, etc. Heads came up four times. Ooh. Uh, should I take a picture of the license plate? Too late. Okay. Now. Okay, here we go. We're going forward. <laughs> front. Front. Left. Front. Right. How is that the front door? This is the front door. Or is it not? Is that not the front door? I'd say to go left, front, right. That doesn't make sense. Alright, anyway. I'm in the door! This is a cozy little place. Right. Forward. Left. Ooh, that mirror looks busted. Left. Forward. Left. Up. Left. Ah, he's dead. Oh yeah, he's dead. That's not creepy at all. Hey, wake up. Hey, wake up. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna work. What happened to you? Yeah. Where's Mulder? Yeah, um, he's a dead man. Okay. Oh, there's a cord here. It's attached to a skeleton. Oh yes, the old creaky attic stairs. Let's go up here. Oh, who's this? Jeez, man, do I know you? Cable guy. You all right? No. What's the matter? Cable guy. My foot's gone to sleep. <laughs> oh, the classic Mulder humor. Agent Wilmore, FBI. Funny, I took you for a spook. <laughs> I took you for a spook. Oh, gosh. I've been looking for you. Well, you found me. Ah, oh, Mulder and your Spoken with Scully. Oh, how is she? She's better. She's out of the hospital. No, it's a sanitarium. I dropped her off there after she was shot in the warehouse. I called the Seattle office for more backup, but all they sent me was more cleaners from the NSA. Who'd you speak to? I didn't have time to ask. We barely got away. I, uh oh. I, I didn't want to notify anybody of Scully's whereabouts because I didn't know who I could trust. He's got that paranoid look. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Duchovny. How did you get here? I was in a rail yard when Roush kidnapped me and stole my car. I always wanted to see the Pacific Northwest. Unfortunately, there's not much view from the trunk. <laughs> uh, 
Let's keep going. Roush is downstairs. You're kidding. He didn't flame you? I beg your pardon? Oh, nothing. What condition is he in? Uh, unconscious and covered in 40-weight motor oil. Oh, Roush. Yeah, he always did have a kinky streak. <laughs> wow. Well, let me guess. Was this uh, rail yard on rural Route 1121? You got it. Yeah, They indeed. use it as a staging area. Yeah, so I've been told. Frohickey sends his love. Well, you're quite the social butterfly. Frohickey, Roush, Scully. Do you know Skinner? Yeah, he set me on the case. I should have known. Ah. <laughs> social butterfly. Why did Roush kidnap you? Roush is a Navy surgeon who's involved in alien experimentation. The alien that go. controlled him or controls him crashed into the sea two months ago. Uh, did you say what? <laughs> say what? Did you just say the alien that controls him? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a species of alien that can use humans as hosts. Yes. The, the parasite Black completely oil. takes over the target human, even gaining access to knowledge that the human possesses. The only way you can tell the difference is there's a thin film of black oil that swims over the victim's eyes. The crew of the Tarakan came across one of these Valdez-type aliens, who promptly nuked them. The government apprehended it and put it in one of their boxcars, but somebody screwed up and it escaped. Ooh. Yeah, Roush had that uh, same black film on his eyes. Yeah, you're lucky he didn't try to kill you. I'm pretty sure the alien's trying to get back to its ship. That's why it used Roush to get here, but I have no idea where that ship might be. Oh. As I was coming up, I saw a man in black fatigue leaving the house. We've got to catch up with him. He's the new host. But we have to figure out where they're headed. I know. I was given the location of a secret government facility by three men via video conference. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like a reliable source. Oh, let's see who this might be. Uh, because you would totally get cell phone service in Alaska in the 90s. Yes. Agent Wilmore, it's Dana Scully. Where are you? Uh, Juneau, Alaska. Have you found Mulder? Yeah, he's right here. Thank God. Can I talk to him? It's Scully. Scully, where are you? I'm on my way to Juneau. Well, who's your travel agent? Byers, Frohickey, and Langley. God love him. Do you have your cell phone with you? Yes. All right, I'll call you back. Wait. Do you have your cell phone with you? She was talking right, to you going. from the airport. Dun dun dun. Well, great, looks like we got some uninvited guests. And this day? Or Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> I need you to keep them busy for me long enough to meet Scully back at that facility, and then you get away and meet us there. Uh, hold on. I was assigned to find you and Scully. I've done that. I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, attitude is that the game's not over yet. Don't you want to wait around for the payoff? Okay. Okay. So, um... Okay, so, um... So we've got to we've got to go back downstairs and deal with these hooligans. Down, forward, right. Ooh, biohazard, nice. Uh, that was random. Forward, right. Forward. Right, forward, right, door, okay, so I am going to save right here because this is where I will die. Okay. So I have two cho I have two choices. I can run and hide or I can shoot them. 
I'm going to save. It says running and hiding is easier. Yeah, shoot them. <laughs> we'll tell you what, we'll try shooting them, and then if I die when trying to shoot them. Okay, so I will go through the doors. I'm going to take a left. I'm going to go to the corner near the cars. Agent Wilmore, we're with the National Security Agency. Sure you are. We've been trying... Nope, not fast enough. I'm a dead man. Wait, I'm just bones? Yeah. It's him. Uh, wait. Oh, and she looks so sad. Thank you. She looks so sad. Yes, I'm going to try again. All right, give me a second. All right, I'm going to try to shoot them again. So I'm going to step forward. Agent Wilmore, we're with the National Security Agency. Sure you are. There. Took you out. Ooh, yeah, we got the uh, northern lights going on here. This, I'm going to save now that we've uh, made it here. Okay. All right, so we're going to save here. It says to draw my gun when I enter the facility. Um, I don't have anything to draw with. Oh wait, I have a pen. Let me just draw a gun. Right. These burns match the others. Of course All they this do. Going on ahead, I don't, I don't think we have much time. All right, draw your gun from the entry. Save. Okay, so it told me to save again. So I'm gonna save again. <laughs> I just saved, but uh, it said to save again, so I'm saving again. All right, always keep the gun at the ready, though. All right, I'm going to have my gun ready. Go into the next room. Man, these guys are getting burned left and right. Yep, he's dead too. Okay. We're going to go into the main hallway. There's a dead man. Make sure my gun is drawn.
Okay. Front. Right. Okay. I need your help, Skull. I need two of these keys to get past the blast door and into the storage chamber. I need for you to help me. No. No, no, not you. Uh. No. Uh, Skelly, run. So I need to turn right and yeah, because a gunshot will totally knock you backwards. All right, I've got to go back to that locker room. Where's the locker room? Isn't that the way I came in? Or did I come in this way? Oh yeah, lots of bodies. Alright, so lots of bodies. The door at the upper right. We're gonna go left, forward, right. Okay. Lots of tall, dark containers that look like they are equipment containers. There you are, Scully. Sign of Mulder? No. I haven't seen him either. What was he talking about? Why is he looking for a key? And what kind of key? He said something about a storage chamber. Now I have to figure out why he's behaving this way and somehow get him out of here. Hmm. Okay. Just reading something here. Okay, good. So I didn't I didn't do what's gonna trigger that scene. Okay. So uh Scully talks to me about Mulder's behavior. Exit this room. Why would I do that? Okay. Exit the room. Left. Forward. Forward. I'm facing the control room. Right, front, left, all right, so I'm just going to go around this main control room. Okay. Small glassed in isolation chamber it's in the center of this large room. Yes, all right, there's the isolation chamber. All right, 
So we're just gonna go through this open door here. I don't know what the isolation chamber's for. Yeah, Agent Cook would have shown up if I went into a different room, but actually we're almost done here. We are almost done here. This might be the last day for this game. This actually probably will be the last day for this game. Holy cow. Yes! And then I, I have to decide. I think I'm going to do American McGee's Alice next. Mmm, that's a fun game. All right. Can't get in there. Stop doing that to me. It's you. Yeah, it's me. I don't know what's wrong with Mulder. I think he's in some kind of a narco somnambulistic state. Maybe if we can lure him into the isolation chamber, I, I can contain him until I can figure out how to treat him. Okay. How are we gonna do that? Well, first of all, we need to locate the other key that Mulder was looking for. Now, whatever is in that room is protected by some kind of a blast door. Yeah. It looks to me like, like the, uh, the door is, is operated by two key panels. Both keys need to be turned simultaneously, like launching a nuclear missile. Now, there's a key guard in the corner of the room. Maybe if, if I distract him, you can come up behind him and knock him out. Then we can use the key to get Mulder into that chamber. But first, we have to get the isolation chamber powered up. Now, the, the door to the security area locked itself behind me, so we have to get that open. Okay. So I'm gonna back up. So I'm gonna exit the control room. I'm gonna go left, I'm gonna forward. I love how the isolation chamber has like chairs and everything. And we're going to push the red button. I want to push the red button. Like, what? Why won't it let me push the red button? I want to... I want to push it. I, I can't push the red button? Why can't I push the red button? That makes no sense. Y you should let me push the red button. Alright. Yeah. Uh, it won't let me push the red button. Maybe I have to push the red button on the other side first, which is a little bit weird, but I, I, I could try. I'm going to turn left. All right, I can see the red button. Oh, I know what I... I missed something. That's what it is. Okay, hang on. Let me go back into the control room here. Okay. Uh, you notice it said push to engage, not pull to engage. Ah, the lights are on. We push the button. Sweet. Okay. So we are getting very near the end of this game. I'm hoping that we will make it by the end of today's stream. And that will bring us to a new game for tomorrow. 
Yeah, so I guess if you go into a medical room in this building, Cook shows up and then you cattle prod him. Both doors are open. Okay. Alright, so he's gonna go right. Right. We're gonna go forward seven times. If I can find my pointer. One. Two. Three. Uh, let's see. Four, five, six, seven. Turn right. All right, I'm going to just save now that I'm in this creepy room. Because you might as well save. All right. All right, let's return. So we're going to go front, left. Okay. All right. I think we let Scully out. Okay. This opens a security door to the room where the blast doors protect an alien craft. Okay. I'm going to go left. I'm going to go two forward. Or no, one forward. No, two forward. That's right. All right, I've gone too forward now. In the main hallway. Left. Forward. Left. It says I'm going to go forward seven times. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. Left. Well, let's hope this works. Any particular direction you'd like to climb? Uh, I'm going to turn right and I'm going to draw my gun. Actually, I'm going to save. So, uh, this is an action part. Yes. Okay, so we're going to return. Alright, let me get my gun out again. One. Two. Kill the inept guard. Uh, okay, hang on. Take the key from the slot. Ah, crud. Dead. Craig Wilmore. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Alright, I'm glad I, uh... So I have to take the key from the slot faster. Okay. We'll try this again.
I realized how quickly I had to move there. So let me just pay attention to what I gotta do here. Gotta draw my gun. Shoot the guard on the right. Take the key from the slot. Left, four forward, into the isolation chamber. Okay. So straight. Straight. No. Alright, and very quickly grab the key. Alright, go left. One, two, three, four. Go through the door. Turn. No, turn. Close it. As soon as I can. I clicked it. Turn the key. Turn. The oh yeah. Thank you, Scully. Oh, so Asian Cook, you were the sketchy alien assassin except you would have green blood instead of red blood yeah that's it that is the end of the game well minus this cutscene that we're about to see yeah Agent Wilmore, I know you're upset by what's transpired, but we're all affected when one of our own goes bad. I never saw it coming. Yeah. Yeah, uh, of course friend. I did. I should have been more attentive, perhaps. I knew none of us he was bad. Fault. I knew he was bad. I called it from day one. Except Agent Cook himself. Hello. Come in, please. I just wanted to say goodbye. I spoke to Detective Astridorian. Apparently, they searched Cook's apartment and found my laptop, fortunately. But uh, it seems as though Cook staged the break in here in order to make it look as if he'd been attacked. No. Oh. Well, it seems that Agents Muller and Scully have been uh, talking to Assistant Director Skinner. Yes, apparently your work has received quite a bit of attention at the Bureau. Oh! You have quite a fan in an assistant director, Skinner. Although I must admit some of what I've heard sounds a bit fantastic, to put it mildly. Oh, yes, sir. I agree. I'd have to plead the fifth on that. So you would. Anyway, I've got a plane to catch, but Agent Mulder wanted me to tell you that his foot has woken up. That's a relief. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to say thank you. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Yes, you would have. Yeah, I, I'm pretty much sure that anybody would have missed this for the world. You're looking a little ragged around the edges. Why don't you go home and get some sleep? I'll see you here tomorrow, first thing in the morning. And oh, I expect your report on this matter to show up when you do. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Detective Astadorian also mentioned she had some paperwork for you to sign. She said she'd drop it by your place. Although I told her she could send it here. She seemed uh, adamant about handing it off to you directly. Oh, oh tampering with the evidence. Yes, <laughs> okay, is that it? Okay. Are we are we gonna get the twist ending? Agent Wilmore. Oh. Yes. I guess I know what you want. Hold on a second, I'll go get it. I think not. 
You'd better keep it. You're gonna need it again. Uh oh. Dun dun dun! Open the door for a sequel that never happened. There's the twist. There, right there, is the X Files twist. Really? You didn't do the X Files theme? Really? 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 You couldn't do the X-Files theme. Classic 90s theme. Oh yeah. I like how they use the same font and everything though. I wonder where the original footage for this game is. That would be fun to track down. Could you imagine getting this in HD? I'm sure it's in a Fox warehouse somewhere. Now that Disney owns Fox, I wonder. It'd be interesting to track down and see where the original footage on this game is. It'd be fun to upscale that. But it, because it was probably done by the... Look at the level. The level of people involved with this. This was definitely a uh, licensed... Windows install programmer. They had a Windows install programmer, right? Oh, I get what it means. The Windows installer to make the Windows installer work. Oh, wait, no. D yeah, D Disney will reboot X-Files. Re X-Files was rebooted. They had season 11 last year. So that is the end of X-Files the game. And I have a little bit of time, so might as well play some Slay the Spire, I think. I think I'll play Slay the Spire. Let me see. How many times... When was the so last time I played Slay the Spire? It was part seven. So. There we go. Oh, a reboot reboot with all new cast. Yeah, it, it's just... It, it's so cliche at this point. Like... Back when this show came out, the the whole aliens and government conspiracies thing was it was just at the right just the right time. And once you once you hit 2011 or tw 2001, once you hit 9/11, um, it became very very hard to pull it off well um, because the sentiment of people was to trust the government rather than to be suspicious of the government. Um, when disasters happen, we tend to fall back on those institutions that we've always fallen back on. And the government and the church, obviously, are two of those institutions. So once you pass that 2001 level, you'll notice that that's when the X-Files started kind of getting not as good. And it, since then, it, it now we're in such a world that is, you know people get offended so easily and whatnot it'd be very very difficult to pull off some of the stuff that they did in this show um again properly anyway but it was an exciting game i mean i i never beat it as a kid um but i beat it this time around i used a guide of course but i still beat it this time around so that was good and i think like I said, we'll do Slay the Spire for about 20 minutes, and then I am going to run because I have to go to work. But yeah, that was fun. And this will be the last time I'm shutting down this Windows 95 computer. Goodbye, Windows 95. We hardly knew ye. <laughs> knew thee. <laughs> oh, yes, you missed the end. I'm sorry I'm on a lot of... You'll have to catch the video on demand now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you missed the end. Yep. Yep. Um, and I think we're going to do American McGee's Alice next week. It's more of a... Uh, we're going to start that. It's more of a... Horror platformer type of game. So hopefully I'll be able to do that. But for now, we're going to do some Slay the Spire. I'm sorry you missed it, Amanolana. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so sorry. 
All right. So, if the game would hurry up and load sometime soon, that would be nice. There we go. Sweet. Mega crit. So, this is what I fall back on after I need to fill space for 15 to 20 minutes, you know? So, we're going to go ahead and play. And we'll just do the daily climb. Character, the defect. So, modifiers, come here. Your starting deck is a fusion of three characters. Ooh. Certain feature. The map contains only one path. Night terrors. Resting at rest sites heals 100%, but it costs five max HP. That stinks. Not exactly a good start. Well, at least I only have one path. Kaka! I'm gonna strike you. I'm gonna strike you. And I'm gonna defend. I guess I'll end my turn. Oh, sorry, Amanalana. Kaka! Ritual! I shall defend. I shall strike. And I shall. Z no. I shall zap. And I'll end my turn. Yeah! Chew on that. It was a good game, though. I mean, I think. I think for those that watched me play the X Files game, I think that you would agree that. Um, that. Playing that game without a guide would have been especially painful. Yeah, that's right. Let's see. Claw. Proceed. Oh, I get to go to the shop. Huh. Aha. Hello. Alright, so what do we got? Hmm, let's see, what do we need here? Meteor strike? That takes five? I'll take that. And oh, I don't have enough gold. Boo. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, it was a, it was a little esoteric. I mean, Mist made more sense to me at times than this made. Hey, I'm going to defend. I'm going to double defend. Thank you. Facebook is suggesting dating sites. Well, that's because you have Facebook on your phone and then you downloaded Tinder. Facebook knows everything about you, okay? Yeah, the X-Files, I just beat it uh, about five minutes ago, Prophet. But it's good to have you. But you missed the end. I'm sorry to say. But yeah, you just missed the ending of the X-Files, Prophet. You just missed it.
Yes, in the directory it still says X Files. That's correct. It's still going to say X Files because I didn't feel like updating the title. <laughs> I mean, I can. If you're gonna, if you're gonna be all upsetty about it, hang on. No, that's not where I do it. Where's my dashboard? Dashboard. There, I updated the category to Slay the Spire. I did not update the title, though. Effort is for rich people. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, uh, well, I mean, don't don't go hide on me. But it, I'm sorry to hear you're not feeling well. I shall claw you. I shall strike you. I shall defend. Brain is mush. Yeah, I've, I've felt that way before. You hurt me. <laughs> Seven damage. There we go. Thank you for the lightning. Now you did. Directory changes a gray area in terms of service. Really? Like changing the category is a gray area in terms of service? How? I mean, okay. That, that that makes no sense. I was in the middle of one game and... Okay, let's see. Charge battery, gain seven block next turn, gain a... Ooh. That sounds good. Battle start. Oh, I can't stand these guys. I will bash you, and I will strike you, and I will end my turn. I've been licked! Oh, it's considered clickbait if the category is wrong. Hi, Fire Uzi! Fire Uzi, it's good to see you. Welcome to the Steamworks. Well, um, then I updated the category, so we're in good shape. I like that card. I also like this card. And I'm going to do this card. Go ahead, attack me. Yeah, now I got two lightnings. Well, I updated the category, okay? So we're good. We're good now. Hmm. Yeah, I just shocked you three times. No, and he split. Well, I updated the category, so. Now, I don't want to defend. I guess I'm going to have to bash one of these guys. There we go. Yeah, the triple lightning. I triple lightning you. I've been slimed, but that's okay because I triple lightning. We strike. We strike. We strike. He did. 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 Alright. Oh, which card? Move all block from the enemy and deal 10 damage. 
random common card to your hand. I like that. Take away all of the enemy's blockage. Okay. Gonna channel that. Go with that, and I will strike. Should have defended at least once. Oh well. Now when these guys attack me, I'll have an extra orb. Thank you. I need like a healing potion. Okay. Wait, wait. Um, I am going to, first of all, defend. Deal six damage here. He's dead. There we go. Well, I updated the category, so it's correct now. There we go. Gain block equal to the number of cards in your discard, or deal 9 damage and put the next card you play this turn on top of your draw pile. Hmm, I care about block right now. Although, I'm going to be wrapping up soon. Categorically. Well, I've updated the category, so... I didn't update the title, but the title doesn't have the same penalties, I guess. First things first, I will defend. Then I will strike. And I will strike again because this little thief is about to steal my monies. I'll show you to steal my monies. Good luck. Go ahead. Attack me. Give me more lightning. Okay. Uh, I better kill him this time, otherwise uh, he'll get away. Yeah! Well, that's why, so I'm on a lot. That's why my titles are just my name and then the game that I'm playing usually. Alright, double energy. Steam barrier. Hologram. I'm gonna double my energy. It's a question mark. Face, let me touch, maybe trade. Yay, I got a new face. And I feel more talkative. I don't know what that does, but... Ooh! What does Blue Candle do? Unplayable curse cards cannot be played. Whenever you play a curse, lose one HP and exhaust it. Okay. Mini boss. I'm gonna die here. What is that? Oh, I still had a energy left. Uh-oh, it woke up now. Okay.
Now I'm not happy. I woke it up. What? I doubled my energy and it gave me nothing. That's mean. I'm gonna die here. Which is fine. Oh, it's still stunned. Okay, good. Stack discharge. I will bash you. Uh, I will strike you. I have no energy, so I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm fine with that. Defeated. Oh, well. That's okay. That's okay. Because we were out of time anyway. We were running low on time anyway. Because I have to wrap things up. Let me see if any of my friends on the squad are on. No. Oh, wait. Simply Novelis is on. It's, it's time for us to do... A raid of simply novelists. So we're going to raid simply novelists. And I do want to thank you for joining me here at the Steamworks. today and all week and uh, I hope to do a Twitch Sing stream tomorrow afternoon I don't know that um, I will or not but we'll see that's what I hope to do um, and we are going to go and do a raid of Simply Novelists so in the meantime I do want to thank you all for being so dashing and joining me here at the Steamworks I need to be dashing off, but I will see you hopefully tomorrow, and if not tomorrow, I will definitely see you on Monday when we start a new game, which I, I think I'm going to do American McGee's Alice, but we will see. All right, let's go do this raid.